What's good? This is JVB representing SPD and that's sportsperdium.com. Wow. The Bears lose for the third consecutive time. This time in a heartbreaker to the San Diego Chargers or the LA Chargers, wherever the hell they at, who cares? But the Chargers come in here, Soldier Field. They defeat the Bears 17 16 as the week two hero, Eddie Pinheiro. Well, he wasn't exactly Eddie Money this time. He misses a 41-yard potential game-winning field goal, and the Bears lose 17-16 to the Chargers. Damn. It's like the losses so far this season has gotten worse and worse and worse. You know, you had the London game against the Oakland Raiders, and Josh Jacobs just ran a train on their ass. Then you had the pathetic performance last Sunday against the Saints at home, by the way. And then you follow that up with another home game against a 2-5 and five team from the West Coast coming east. And they come in and they leave Chicago with a W. It's sad, man. And I know the Bears are 3-4. and four. Like, they're not mathematically eliminated from anything. You know, they're still in playoff contention, but it's not looking good, man. Each week that's passing is just more confirmation that this is not a playoff team. And that's sad because coming into this season, we all had high hopes. You know, everybody had high hopes. Even if you didn't think Mitch Trubisky was a good quarterback coming in, you still believe, okay, he may do just enough. We have a great defense. And this team can make the playoffs. This team will make the playoffs. You know, that was probably still your thought. But I don't think, as a Bears fan, you thought it would be this bad. And speaking of bad... Just how bad was the Bears in the red zone today? <laughs> I mean, the end of the second quarter, man, <laughs> right right before halftime. This team had no timeouts. They were down in the red zone. They were inside the five-yard line, and they were doing all kinds of stupid shit, swing passes over to Cordero Patterson, all these weird plays, you know, targeting Adam Shaheen like he's fucking Rob Gronkowski. Yes, he may be white, he may be tall, he may wear number 87, but by no means is he Robert Gronkowski. Not by a long shot. But you have that, and then towards the end of the quarter, you know, they even trying to stop the ball. And it's, 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 it's so funny because they run around all crazy. You know, you got somebody fucking shoe on the ground, and the Bears... <laughs> and the Bears were just barely able to get the clock stopped. You know, they spiked the ball like a second left. The field goal unit came out. Any Pinheiro made the field goal to give the Bears the 9-7 to lead going into halftime. And you wouldn't believe that the Bears were going into halftime with the lead because the fans out there at Soldier Field letting the team know, man, this Bears offense fucking sucks. But the Bears go into halftime. They were ahead 9-7. I forgot to mention that Eddie Pinheiro did channel his inner Cody Parkey early in the game, hitting the goal post and missing a 33-yard field goal. I had to add that in there because it does lead to the end of the game and what happened, kind of. But this Bears offense is still trash. But there was one bright spot in the offense today, one really bright spot. And now it's this running game. More specifically, David Montgomery, the rookie, with his first breakout game of his career, rushing the ball 27 times for 135 yards and a touchdown. He was by far the star of the offense. You know, Anthony Miller had a few receptions. He had like 67 yards. Allen Robinson had like five receptions for like 60-some yards. But the man of the hour, the man of the game on the offensive side, David Montgomery was awesome. I did a video in the offseason with a bold prediction. And my bold prediction was that David Montgomery would end the season in the top five of total offense in the NFL. Now, that shit ain't happening. But what you saw today was why I made that prediction. This kid just keeps running. He keeps moving his legs. He finds ways to make positives out of negatives. I love the way this kid runs, man. He runs hard. He's always moving. And then the move in the second half of the game where he disappeared on Joey Bosa made him miss 
made a few other guys miss, and then get a first down. You know, that was probably one of the best moments of the game, especially inside Soldier Field with the crowd because the crowd was pretty dead a lot of times watching this Bears offense. But going to the second half with the Bears' first possession, they ran the ball. They ran the ball, and they ran the ball, and they ran the ball again. And it's something that I mentioned in my previous videos and everybody else and their mama was talking about as well after that Saints game. Run the fucking ball. If you run the ball enough, not only are you wearing down the defense, not only are you helping your own defense stay on the sideline and recuperate, your quarterback, you're helping out the receivers, is going to allow someone like Mitch Trubisky, who is a below-average quarterback, make some above-average to good to great plays. And we saw that on that first drive. David Montgomery was running the ball effectively. It's a third and one. Mitch Trubisky play actions and finds Allen Robinson near the end zone. And then David Montgomery gets the ball, runs it in for an easy touchdown. Bears go up by nine. You know, the Chargers stay in the game. You know, they have a veteran quarterback in Phillip Rivers. He made plays when he needed to. They got to field goal range, and the kicker made the field goal, you know, so 16-10 Bears. Now, this is where Matt Nagy fucked up. The Bears were gashing this Chargers defense on the ground. They were getting whatever the hell they wanted. David Montgomery was feasting on this defense but what does Matt Nagy do? He starts to get away from the run. You know why? Because the Bears were leading 16 to 10. So he thought, you know, I don't really like running the ball. But what I want to do is make Mitch feel good. I want Mitch Trubisky to feel so good. I want to give him a big hug after the game and said, hey, Mitch, you threw a touchdown and we won. Yippee! So what does Matt Nagy do? Okay, he lets Mitch throw the ball, right? Trubisky throws the ball deep to Taylor Gabriel. Taylor Gabriel has his man beat by at least five yards. The sad thing is that Mitch Trubisky had Taylor Gabriel beat by five yards. The ball sailed over Taylor Gabriel's head, incomplete pass. So you would think any reasonable play caller you're at home you're playing against a depleted defense not a great team begin they ass kicked on the line defensive line getting gashed up with the run game it's the second half go with what's working right run the ball david montgomery is eating keep pounding the rock no matt Nagy wants his baby boy his quarterback to feel good So what does he do? The very next play, he runs another passing play. And I don't know if Mitch Trubisky saw Casey Hayward. I'm I'm assuming he didn't. I'm hoping he didn't. But Mitch Trubisky throws the ball. It gets picked off by Casey Hayward. Casey Hayward takes the ball damn near in the Bears' red zone, right? So the Chargers have great field position. Fortunately for the Bears, The defense held up. The Chargers had to attempt the field goal, and luckily, they missed. So the Bears got out of that situation, giving up no points. And now you think, okay, Matt Nagy cannot be crazy. He allowed Mr. Trubisky to try to make some plays down the field, and he couldn't. So let's get back to the running game, and let's pound this rock and run it down the Chargers' throats. (laughs) Wrong. Mitch Trubisky, this time, on the very next possession, fumbles the ball. And yes, the tackles were getting pushed into Mitch Trubisky so fucking much in this game. Charles Leno and Bobby Massey are fucking trash. But the tackle got bumped into Mitch Trubisky. Mitch Trubisky is getting nervous and panicking and all that. And he just lost the ball. The Chargers recover deep in Bears territory. And this time they convert it. They were helped out with a face mask call, but if you give a team too many opportunities, they're going to capitalize, especially a veteran like Phillip Rivers. You know, like, say what you want to say about Phillip Rivers, but he got the job done. He took advantage of the turnover 
and he took advantage of the penalty, and he found Austin Eckler on the touchdown pass. Chargers led 17-16, and the Bears had a couple of chances. The Bears came back, and they were driving the ball down the field. But what happened? The Bears were in field goal range. Bobby Massey is trash. Joey Bosa is good. You add them things together. Joey Bosa gets in on the sack on Mitch Trubisky, knocking the Bears out of field goal range. The crowd continues to boo. So the Bears had to punt the ball and then use up all their timeouts or most of their timeouts. They also had the two-minute warning as well. So the Bears defense did their job, though. Gave this Bears offense one more chance. Mr. Trubisky made some plays. You know, he found some guys. Taylor Gabriel, Trey Burden, Allen Robinson, all had catches on that drive. And now the Bears are in Eddie Pinheiro range. But then Mr. Trubisky made a big play with his feet. And we haven't seen Mitch make plays with his feet too much this season. But anyway, he makes a great play with his feet because Bobby Massey and Charles Leno suck. They get pushed back yet again from these Charger rushers. So it knocks Mitch Trubisky over. You think he's going to fall down. He stays on his feet, collects himself, and he gains, what, 12, 13 yards, probably a little bit more, probably a little bit less, but he got over 10 yards. I know that. So a great rush by Mitch Trubisky when Matt Nagy decides, okay, that's it. From here is 41 yards. So I'm just going to let the clock run, then call my last time out. The Chargers have used all their timeouts, so – Our kicker should be fine. You know, this is a reasonable field goal. He's been pretty solid all season. So let's see if he can win the game. Eddie Pinheiro comes out there. Like I said, the Chargers don't have any timeouts, so they can't freeze him. But Eddie Pinheiro just kicks it, and it goes left. So the second missed field goal proves to be huge for Eddie Pinheiro. No Eddie money today. The bank was closed, but a disappointing loss. Bears lose 17-16 to the Chargers. The third consecutive loss for the Bears, and next week they go to Philly against the Eagles. And the Eagles have had their struggles on defense. You know, the secondary has been trash. But the Eagles have a talented team. So don't believe it's going to get any better for the Bears because it just hasn't. This team has been disappointing. And this is their third loss at home, man. You've lost three or four home games already, man. You ain't winning anything in this league like that. You damn sure ain't a playoff team. And right now, with the quarterback play, this ain't no playoff team. And I don't know what you do. What do you do? Do you want to go out there and bench Mr. Trubisky? I don't know. But besides the offensive line, specifically the tackles, that's your big problem. The quarterback. I know this is only week eight. And I know I'm going to bring this shit up towards the end of the season, definitely after the season. But you need to bring in some more quarterbacks, man. You have to. Because I don't believe Mr. Trubisky is going to go out and have a great second half of the season and have you saying, we don't have to worry about quarterback in the 2020-2021 season. Bullshit. You better draft the quarterback. And you better look into the free agent market and see what you may be able to bring in here that can compete with Mitch that can pose a challenge towards Mr. Trubisky's spot. But it's a bad loss, y'all. And Matt Nagy ran the ball, but I ain't taking his ass off the hook either. He should have ran the ball more. You ran the ball like 30-some times. You should have run the ball in this game 40-something times, if not 50, because it was working. You were getting what you wanted on the ground with David Montgomery, and you were winning the game at home. So there's no reason why you're giving Mr. Trubisky the ball knowing that he's struggling. In the red zone, five to ten yards to go, you're throwing up all these complex-looking-ass passes to Cordero Patterson and Adam Shaheen like you got a sniper on your hands, man. Breaking news, you don't. You were successful running the ball. David Montgomery broke off a 55-yard run. Keep feeding him. Keep pounding the rock and get in the fucking end zone. I don't give a fuck if you got to run out formation the rest of the way. If it's working, don't stop. Get the W. But the Bears didn't get the W. The Bears got the big fat ass L. 
which they probably deserve. Mitch Trubisky in this offense struggling in the red zone. You finally got a great game out of David Montgomery, but Matt Nagy didn't run the ball enough. And in the end, they had a chance to win, but they indeed lose after Eddie Pinheiro misses a game-winning 41-yard field goal. But I'm out. Like the video and share the video with fellow Bears fans. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, take it easy. God bless. Peace.